Hello! Um, you won't believe this. Yes, a little bit of wind. But no sign of snow whatsoever. This is Barcelona, 15 degrees uh, right now, and people are in the terraces having their coffees because that's the time of the day. And, uh, and from here and from now is the right time to tell you what's going on in La Liga. Starting with uh, one of the stories that actually will become, I believe, uh, one of the sagas of the summer. And that's the fact that uh, Lewandowski uh, has got Pini Sahabi as one of his representatives. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's broken down the relationship with everybody else that he's been working with, but Pini has got a mandate, a clear mandate, of actually taking Lewandowski to one of the top clubs in Europe. Bayern is certainly, but he's been there, he succeeded, and I think he's thinking for something else. So. Do not get confused with what he says when he denies any kind of link to Real Madrid or others. Now, the situation is, of course, Pini will probably try to get him to the Real Madrid or PSG, and there are two English clubs that seem to be interested, Manchester United and Chelsea. But that, of course, has got a consequence, clear consequence, and that will be what happens with Morata. Well, what, how about if he goes to Bayern? Uh, but then, of course, if, um, if uh, Lewandowski, say, uh, goes to PSG, because I feel Real Madrid have got the impression that it's too much, 150 euros for uh, uh, somebody who's going to be 30 very soon. PSG, right now, uh, better candidates for it, but they have to get rid of uh, Cavani. So how about if Cavani goes to Chelsea? Now, what I'm telling you is not just uh, science fiction, it's actually uh, the imagination of uh, representatives uh, or very well-placed representatives who will try to make this happen, but it won't be easy at all. I'm just saying that uh, that's what you're seeing in the newspapers in recent days, uh, links of Lewandowski to Chelsea and Manchester United and to PSG, and of course there will be a talk about Real Madrid, which by the way is his real dream. He dreams of uh, going to Real Madrid, has done it for a long while, and he almost went to Real Madrid in 2013 when um, Florentino Perez, uh, he was at, at uh, Borussia Dortmund and Florentino Perez in December uh, tried to push the deal but of course he had agreed everything with Bayern Munich. So we'll have to see what happens with that but right now what we're seeing is uh, basically uh, what could be the beginning of a saga. There is more of course and uh, it, staying with transfers is the Griezmann situation. Uh, it's been published that Griezmann uh, has got a deal with Barcelona. I don't believe that's the case. Uh, in fact, what's happening with Atletico Madrid is that they're not very hopeful that they can keep him, but they, the chance that they've got is uh, actually release some of the players they have. Uh, they're not going to bring money through the Champions League this season as much as last season, of course. So, uh, basically by getting rid of some of the players, like Carrasco and Gaetan, uh, we've gone to China, of course. Uh, Arturo Fernandez has gone as well, and uh, Pieto has gone to Valencia. Releasing those uh, wages, uh, what that means is that, of course, they may be able to uh, put a better offer on the table for both Oblak, who could go, his bio close is 100 million euros, and for Griezmann, whose close will be on the 30th of June, 100 million euros. Barcelona do want him. He wants to go uh, to Barcelona, but nothing has been agreed. So I think he'll play uh, to see what happens before he actually takes a decision. And uh, what Atletico Madrid have said to him is that just focus in football. He clearly is doing so. And uh, uh, meanwhile, at the end of the season, we'll talk some more. I'm pretty sure that uh, Griezmann will want everything sorted before the World Cup, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. Now the big story of the weekend is that after the draw of uh, Barcelona with the help of Matteo Laoz, but yes, uh, with a very poor Barcelona against Las Palmas, what that means is that of course Atletico Madrid and Barcelona separated only by five points. And on Sunday it will be, yes, at the Camp Nou, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid. So let's analyze that a little bit. For instance, why is this Atletico Madrid so good these days? Well, uh, a bunch of reasons. One is because finally uh, Simeone has forgotten about the possibility of playing well as a priority uh, and has gone to his basics. He's got a midfield of four centre midfielders where um, Koke is little by little finding his best form, Saul doing, having a, a, a very good season, Thomas as a um, holding midfielder is actually uh, one of the big surprises if you like but one that uh, comes from a lot of work and a lot of corrections in the uh, in, in his time in training 
and uh, and Thomas is either a holding midfielder or on the right hand side when it's necessary actually has got or has made Atletico Madrid better and of course the link between Griezmann and Costa is now working quite clearly working before the arrival of Costa Griezmann had scored seven goals five assists and he was not getting to the level of the two previous seasons where, where he got involved in 38 goals either assists or goals that is but he was involved in them now uh, since the arrival of Costa he's gone to 13 goals and five assists which takes now uh, the figure of goals in which he's been involved to 30 38 the two previous season 30 already and yes uh, he's reaching his best level seven goals scored in the last two games no less Costa can do the job that you all know he can do he holds the center backs can hold the ball and Griezmann can move around with much more freedom protected by the four midfielders behind him so it looks now a strong Atletico Madrid the strongest Atletico Madrid of the season and I know the key thing here is accuracy uh, they had for a while been playing one nils we mentioned this here uh, and winning yes but one nils and with poor football and it was down partly to the lack of accuracy of their passes sometimes reached 55 percent well in the last two games the average is 90 percent accuracy they sharp uh, they certainly focused and what you got as i said is the best atletico madrid meanwhile for me it's the worst barcelona in a decade statistically by the way in brackets is the worst Real Madrid in La Liga in a decade when that happens when that happens sometimes the win of the league is not Real Madrid Barcelona but we will see of course because it's all in the hands of Barcelona they will play at the Camp Nou but you saw against Las Palmas and you've seen in other games they drew three out of the last five games that uh, there are things missing there's no depth there's no pace up front uh, if it's not down to Messi uh, creatively they just don't have enough they need Rakitic next to Busquets one thing that uh, Valverde has been working on especially defensively and it has worked uh, for most games but uh, creatively they lack something Dembele not impressing yet Coutinho is not a midfielder and even though he's been playing a little bit there sometimes quickly he moves as a forward because he's that's where he's at his best but at the moment uh, he's still not sure of what he has to do that will take him still a while same with Dembele so uh, against Atletico Madrid it will be another 4-4-2 possibly and I don't think it'll be Paulinho but perhaps Coutinho uh, or Dembele one of the two who will uh, join forces with Rakitic with Iniesta and Busquets now what Atletico Madrid quite clearly wants to do is to actually um, defend not too deep if they can avoid it but they, they will be getting deeper and deeper and counter attack uh, a little bit like Chelsea did play the percentages they will have three four chances if they take advantage of it they could get something out of the camp now Barcelona funnily enough are of course comfortable with that style because they want to attack together and defend together and defend high when that happens uh, and that's how you get the best of Busquets that's how you get the best of Iniesta but they concede chances this is um, I think in two home games or Black had conceded zero chances zero shots on call and uh, generally the rest of the season uh, even though Atletico Madrid is the best uh, defense in La Liga Barcelona uh, have got a good defense but uh, they've considered 22% more shots on goal so they concede chances they, they have possession but don't control games not the same thing and they give opportunity to teams it's the kind of game that could go either way uh, it could be a victory to Barcelona and you think like yeah they had most of the possession and they perhaps had more chances or it could be Atletico Madrid and you'll be saying yeah actually they deserve it because they cleverly did what they you have to do against Barcelona defend deep and counter attack one of those games so closer to it once uh, I am at the Camp Nou I'll do another little video as a preview and one after to tell you how it all went I'm really looking forward to it so that's that's about it for now and uh, I'll be talking to you soon keep uh, up with um, what's coming on what's coming up in the uh, uh, YouTube channel by subscribing of course uh, yes we're preparing new things for you and I hope you like them cheers bye